Okay guys, this week we're in uh, Lake of the Ozarks down Horseshoe Bend and we're going to be working on this basement floor here. Um, got a lot of prep work to do as you can tell, I'll walk through it real quick. Where the carpet strips were, we've got a lot of tack holes that have to be repaired all around the perimeter. So this whole floor has to be ground down along with the repairs. Quite a few cracks too that I can see and probably quite a few that I can't see until we actually get this floor ground. As you can tell here as well, um, we've got to repair this area all along here because there was a wall that they took out. And we've got a lot of grinding here a lot of uh, repair work that needs to be done, filled in. You know, there's about a, a good half inch lip there. And then we've got to grind down and try to feather out. Now there's some floor leveler that has to come off. There's carpet glue that has to come off. And, um, some thin set here in the other room, which I'll show you in just a second. Let's see, let's go in here. A little bathroom in here. Another little room in here. And there's a crack right here that's pretty visible. Um, I'm sure it runs the full length. We just can't quite see all of it until we get some grinding done here. But as you can tell, all along this perimeter, everywhere in every room, um, we've got to you know, fill those little holes. And then here, as you can tell, you can see that lip right there. We've got to grind on it. Get that um, floor level off of there. And then, um, you know, fill these areas right here. Bring that all up flush. Repair this whole area right through here. I've got a, like a foundation. I guess it was poured. I don't know how they did this, but looks like this is the outside of the foundation and they just poured up to it. So we're going to have to throw all that in. Go in this room here. And here's where they had tiles. So we'll have to knock up all that thin set there. It's pretty thick, but we should be able to knock that down, get it all flat. And again, we got this repair right along through here that we'll have to make and get that as level as we can. So we've got a lot of areas that need attention, um, some more than others. The whole floor really needs attention, but there are some areas that, that you know, have some issues. And we're going to go ahead and get them fixed up over the course of the next couple of days and get this ready for metallic epoxy.
Okay, we've got all of our repairs done and we are ready for our base coat of epoxy. That big gray patch is one of our big areas that we had to repair. It was very uneven, about an inch and a half drop. Cracks everywhere, holes everywhere around the perimeter. Everything's patched in. Couple cracks there in the bathroom, repaired. And this one large crack here that ran all the way out to the fireplace here. Right, that big trench right there, it's all filled in. All along there, it's all patched in and leveled. The white patches where, where posts were, patched all those in after we ground the old material out. But this crack right here was a really large one that went all the way from that wall in this bedroom here. That's repaired. You can still see it, but we're gonna cover all this up and you won't see any of this patchwork. Over here we had in a couple of spots we had about a two inch drop so we really ground that down pretty good and ground it back and then we took and filled everything in after we got all the old stuff off got it ground down and then sanded down Another area we had to patch and remember this whole back room had that thin set really thick thin set back here got all that pulled up had to patch another hole that white one there and then of course you know all this uh, level right here it just runs it just runs from one side of the house to the other so that gray patch All right, our base coat is down. Uh, it is the next day, so it's dry. So um, we've got a lot of bubbles, you know, where the product is, you know, it's uh, got some air trying to escape. And the concrete's pretty porous, though, in a lot of areas, some more than others. Back in here, it came out pretty smooth. Really, don't have any bubbles to speak of there's just you know some junk that that fell in there just a little bit of debris but other than that we're gonna sand all this down today so all these little bubbles and all this debris will be sanded down smooth <clears throat> and really it's all gonna be after today it's gonna be like glass this and this closet in here actually turned out perfect there's no dirt there's no bubbles I mean that's what you hope for pretty much on the entire floor, but that's in a perfect world. <laughs> and this was a, a pretty tough job getting this one prepped up. It had a lot of issues, as you guys seen from the previous video. So right now we're just at that stage to where <clears throat> this is the base coat. We're gonna sand it, get all these little imperfections out and uh, get it ready for our top coat, which is gonna be pearl. And then we're gonna vein in some graphite on top of that. So it'll be 75% pearl and the other 25% is gonna be our black graphite veins. So we're gonna marbleize this thing today. So you can see all those bubbles. I just hit it with a sander, it'll come out. And we'll clean it up and get going on it. But over here is where we had all that leveling, where this pole is, all the way across. You know, we originally had a two foot or two foot, two inch drop right there. 
and we leveled that down to where it's just got a slight grade to it. You know, it's not completely level all the way back to the wall. So it does have a little bit of a grade. I don't know what the degree of that degrade is necessarily, but it's not bad to the eye. Um, you really can't see it. You can feel it a little bit when you walk on it. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's tight, it's smooth. Um, you know, the bubbles will take out, so it'll be even smoother. <laughs> you can hear those bubbles popping. Another area that turned out pretty nice right through here. No issues as far as bubbles, just a little bit of dirt and debris. You know, and again, we had this repair that ran from one side of the house to the other right here. And it's gone. Okay, we got this job over here in Four Seasons. It is complete. Back bedroom here in the corner. This was probably the nicest concrete back in here in this room. And it started to get rough as we kind of come out here into the living area. This was all pretty nice through here. And it started to get kind of rough as we got right here by the fireplace. And of course we had our, uh, our drop right here. And it was about a, probably an inch or so over here. We brought it down to about a half inch and put that leveler on there. So that's one of our spots. And this is where it goes all the way across the room, all the way across the house. the other spot there ran here from the fireplace all the way on over took all that leveler out and that was about a two inch drop almost over here inch and three quarters and we brought it down to about three quarters of an inch and then we had to level everything else up on this side of that so we didn't level it um, 100%, we just kind of created a nice gradual slope. But you can't really, you can't really see it, it's pretty gradual. This is one of my favorite spots on the floor here. bedroom and here's bathroom this was pretty good concrete in here just had a few cracks nothing major This is another spot I really like right here. It's got a lot of cool effects, kind of here and there around the floor. 
all a little, a little bit different. Small lines, large lines, double lines, swirly, twirly lines. But that's what makes it unique. You know, it's uh, it's all a little bit different here and there. We don't want any kind of pattern. Cool spot right here. And it goes into this back bedroom. A couple really nice areas back here as well. Neat little spot right here. <clears throat> All in through here. This was another spot, of course, we had to repair. If you guys happen to be on YouTube watching this, please subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Uh, I'll try to get these uh, on every job. So uh, get subscribed, hit that red button somewhere here on Facebook or on the YouTube if that's where you're watching it. Um, and then go over to my Facebook page. There's links in the uh, description below, uh, below this video. Or you can go to my website and check out my Facebook page. But yeah, if you guys like this video, just hit that little like button below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. See you guys on the next project.